activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. <laughs> Me too. I love looking at spooky houses decorated for Halloween. Wow, look at all the jack-o'-lanterns. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Oh, hello, Mr. Pumpkin. You scared me. You're welcome, Blippi. I love to be scared. It's fun. <laughs> it is? Hmm, I wonder. Is it really fun to be scared? Only one way to find out. Let's have a scare contest. Hmm, huh? okay. Let's do it. Yikes! Score one for Team Pumpkin! Team? I don't see anyone else. Uh, yikes! <laughs> oh, hi again, Bones. That's two points for Team Pumpkin! Come on, Bones, let's plan our next scare. Hmm, we have to come up with a good scare, Debo. What can we do? Huh? <gasps> I have an idea. I'll wear this mask and stand on your shoulders while you howl. <laughs> Let's go. This is gonna be good. Ooh. <laughs> Score one for Team Flippy. <laughs> Got us good, Blippi! Yeah! Nice work, Debo! Whoa, 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 whoa! Cool! A secret hallway? Huh? Oh boy, this is really going to scare them! <laughs> For Team Blippi! The next team to score a point is the winner! Yeah! Hold on, Debo. I have an idea. Let's hide in that cauldron and jump out and scare Mr. Pumpkin and Bones. Hey, Bones! Let's hide in that cauldron and jump out to scare Blippi and Debo! Yikes! <laughs> I guess it's a tie. <laughs> All right, Halloween is the best. But I still don't know the answer to my question. Is it really fun to be scared? <laughs> yeah! yeah! All right, upload answer, Debo. Thanks for an awesome scare contest, Mr. Pumpkin. I had a lot of fun. No problem, Blippi. I had a lot of fun, too. Woo! Don't worry, Debo. Those aren't real monsters. They're trick-or-treaters, because it's Halloween. Of course, Debo. I can teach you how to trick or treat. Did somebody say trick or treat? Whoa! Oh, hi, Rita. This is my friend Debo. Hi, Debo. I'm Rita the raccoon, and Halloween is my favorite holiday. Because of all the costumes? No, silly. All the free food. Ha! Well, you're just in time because Debo and I are about to go trick or treating. Wait, Debo! We still need a few things before we go! The first thing we'll need are costumes! Great idea! We'll be ghosts! <laughs> so fun! Even ghosts need to be able to see! There we go! Whoa! Boo! <laughs> I'm a blippy ghost! Whoa! 
We've got a karate master trick-or-treating with us. Opa! And now a chef. <laughs> so cool. Boo! I'll just stick with a mask. Our costumes are ready. Time for the next step. Containers to hold our treats. Cool jack-o'-lantern pails. Ooh, my first treat! Now it's time to hit the streets. It's getting dark. A glowing ghost. Fun. Okay. <laughs> Be sure to pick a house that is decorated and lit up for Halloween. Then knock on the door and say, Trick or treat! Happy Halloween! What? Shoot! Remember, you can only go to each house one time and just take one piece of candy. Trick, Trick or treat! treat. <laughs> ha ha! Jackpot! That'll last you till next Halloween! Whoa! Those scare me every time! Trick or treat! Look what, what I, I got. got! Whoa! Look at all these treats! Thanks for helping me teach Debo how to trick or treat, Rita! And remember, Debo, to trick or treat, you need a costume and a bag or pail for treats. Then, walk door to door, stop at the lit and decorated houses, say trick or treat to get goodies in return. And remember, you always need an adult. <laughs> yeah! Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet night, Rita. <laughs> Bye, Blippi and Debo. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Whoa. What is that? <laughs> You're right, Debo. I think he's setting up for Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Hmm. I wonder, how do you celebrate Dia de los Muertos? <laughs> Great idea! We'll go ask him and find out! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is Debo! <laughs> oh, hi! I'm Paco! Paco! What are you making here? I'm making an ofrenda! It's part of a Mexican celebration where we remember the family members who are no longer with us. But I have a problem. What's wrong? I don't remember anything about my great abuela Rosa. I need to know what things she liked so I can make a proper ofrenda for her. Great idea, Debo. We can go back in time and meet your great abuela Rosa. Just follow us. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Going back in time! Whoa, where are we? Welcome to Mexico! Whoa! Whoa. Great Abuela Rosa? Yes? Hi, it's me, Paco, your great-grandson from the future. <gasps> Hola, mijo! And who are your friends? This is Blippi and Debo. Hello! <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Hola. What are you doing here? Don't tell me you don't know how to make a proper ofrenda for me. Well... Nope, he doesn't. <laughs> bueno, I will show you all my favorite things. Come on! The first thing I love is riding. Fast! Whee! <laughs> My second favorite thing is oranges. They are so juicy and sweet. Mmm. Yeah. <gasps> oh no. We can make orange juice. <laughs> Follow me. 
Okay, my third favorite thing is... Musica! I love music! Well then, you must dance! Thank you, Blippi, for helping me learn about my great Abuela Rosa. You're welcome, Paco. And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> to celebrate Dia de los Muertos, you can make an ofrenda with the things that truly represent the spirit of our loved ones. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Paco. Bye, Blippi. Driving at night is so much fun! And we have the streets all to ourselves. Whoa! What was that? It's pretty late for animals to be out. You're right, Debo. That's definitely an animal. Hmm. I wonder, why do some animals come out at night? I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Let's go find that nighttime animal! Ah! Oh! What's yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. We were wondering why some animals, like you, are out at night. See, I'm nocturnal. That means that everything you like to do in the daytime, I like to do at nighttime. So cool. Hey, do you think this thing can help me find some food? Of course. I think the Blippi Mobile could do almost anything. Oh, look at her go. Debo, follow that raccoon. You aren't supposed to use the Blippi Mobile without permission. That's stealing. Sorry! Us raccoons will do almost anything for food. <laughs> I'm freezing, Rita. It's so cold at night. Aren't you cold too? Me? No way! I've got this big fur coat that helps me keep nice and warm all night. <laughs> I wish I had a big coat or something to keep me warm. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! It's okay, Blippi! Look! Oh, thanks, Rita! That's another great thing about being nocturnal. A lot of the animals that want to chase me are asleep. I like it better with less unfriendly predators around. <laughs> Something smells good. Let's go! To the Blippi-mobile! This time, I'll drive! <laughs> That looks complicated, Rita. How are you going to open it? No problem. Raccoons are great problem solvers, as long as there's food involved. Ha! Jackpot! With less animals around, I don't have to share all of this great food. What an amazing adventure. And I got the answer to my question. Why do some animals come out at night? Some animals like to come out at night because there is less competition for food, there are fewer predators and people around, and because it's cooler at night. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Goodbye, Blippi! I'm off to greener dumpsters! Bye-bye, Rita! Rawr! Rawr! <laughs> You're right, Debo. It would be fun to have a dinosaur as a pet. Hmm, I wonder, would a dinosaur make a good pet? Good thinking. We'll go back in time to find out. I'm gonna need the grabber arm and monster truck wheels. Grabber arm, monster truck wheels, confirmed. Activate Blippi 
Party Station. Going back in time. The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. That's right. We're in the Cretaceous period. Millions of years ago, when the Earth was filled with dinosaurs! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi there, Blippi! I'm Tina, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hi, Tina. We were wondering, would a dinosaur make a good pet? An animal that you love and care for. Wow, being a pet sounds amazing. Maybe I could be your pet for the day. <laughs> Can you drop Debo, please? Debo's made of metal, and we don't want you to break a tooth. Good, Dino. We sure do have sharp teeth. I use mine to eat. Whoa, do you eat a lot? Feeding is an important part of having a pet. I can bite off 500 pounds of food in one jump. That's a lot more than I have here. Hmm, let's try a trick. Great idea, Debo. Go fetch, Tina. <laughs> Whoa! Whoopsies, sometimes I forget my size. Us T-Rexes can be as tall as 12 feet high and up to 40 feet long. Wow, that's so big. Hey, let's go for a walk, Tina. Whoa! Look at all of those teeth! Whoa! 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 Something tells me that's not how a walk is supposed to go. We gave it a try, but I'm not sure if dinosaurs are meant to be pets. I think you're right. We're meant to rule the jungle. Yep, and you helped find the answer to my question. Would a dinosaur make a good pet? Dinosaurs are big, have lots of teeth, need room to roam, and eat a lot. So they might not be good pets, but it's still fun to imagine. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Tina. Bye. Come back in time. Any time. Cool. A fire truck. You're right, Tabs. It does have a really long ladder. Hmm. I wonder, what's it like to be a fire truck? Great idea! We can catch up with that fire truck and find out. Well, oh, hi there. I'm Frankie the fire truck. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Great to meet you, Frankie. We were wondering what it's like to be a fire truck. It's a big job. You always have to be ready to help. And I am. <laughs> they call me a first responder, which means I'm the first one to arrive in any emergency. That's great, Frankie. Hey, will you show Tabs your really long ladder? Sure. I also have a lot of other special equipment. Check it out. I have many ladders and hoses. So cool! And also fire extinguishers and first aid kits. I do! And hammers and cutters to open stuck doors. Ooh! You also have nets? Oh yeah, I have nets in case someone in trouble needs to jump to safety. I don't only put out fires, I also rescue people and animals. Sounds like a cat needs help. It's in a tree! Come on! <laughs> Flippy, you go up and get the kitten down. I'm ready. Hey, kitty. <coughs> kitty, I'm here to help. I'll pick you up and carry you down. <sighs> I couldn't get to her. There's no giving up, Flippy. We must rescue her. Good idea, Tabs. We can use the net. <laughs> yeah. 
boy. We got a code 1171 on Main Street. There's a fire. Please hurry. I'm on it. Time to go. My siren can get loud, but it helps people to know to get out of my way. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Don't worry, Blippi. I got this. Yeah! That was amazing, Frankie. You put that fire out so quick. <laughs> the fire's flaring up again. I'm gonna need the water hose attachment. Water hose confirmed. Yeah! We did it! The fire is out! And I have the answer to my question. What's it like to be a fire truck? Fire trucks are first responders to fires and other emergencies. They carry lots of equipment, like hoses, ladders, and nets. They also have a siren to alert people that they're coming. Upload answer tab. Bye, Frankie. Thanks for letting us help out. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Tabs. Stay safe. Whoa, a giant construction site. Let's go check it out. Hard hat area. Hmm, I wonder, why do construction workers need to wear hard hats? <laughs> hey, I'm driving here! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We were wondering, why do construction workers wear hard hats? Oh, well, hello there, Blippi and Debo. My name is Christopher. Christopher Crane, how you doing? Uh-oh, here, put these on. You'll need them. Okay. Come with me. I need to bring these beams to the other side of the site. I can teach you about hard hats on the way. Here, here. Construction sites are very dangerous, and a hard hat helps protect your head from many risks, like, you know, swinging steel beams. <laughs> Whoa, watch out! Whoa, that was a close one. <laughs> That's why we gotta be careful, you know? Kareem, how you doing? That's my buddy Kareem, he's a good guy, very tall. Come on. Hi, Kareem. <laughs> Hey, Debo, look out for those pipes. It's a good thing you're wearing your hard hat, Debo. Hard hats are great at protecting your head against bumps, you know? Still got a ways to go. Hop on. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Look at all those construction workers all the way up there. <laughs> oh. Sounds like lunch to me. But remember, there are dangers all over a construction site. You gotta be careful when walking below workers because you never know when something might Debo! Fall. Oh. All right, stop goofing around. We got a job to do. Let's go. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Christopher. All right, let's get this job started. Uh -uh. Yeah. <laughs> this is the hard part. <laughs> Gotta line it up just so. Okay? <laughs> hey, look! You helped install the last beam! Yeah! And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> Construction workers wear hard hats to protect their head from bumps and falling objects. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> hey, I got another job to do. 
Thanks for your help, Blippi. I'll see you later. Bye, Christopher. <laughs> Ready, Debo? <laughs> Three, two, one! Yeah, it's not quite what I envisioned. I wish I could make a few changes. <gasps> oh, yeah! I can use an eraser! Hmm, I wonder, how does an eraser work? Great idea, Debo! We'll shrink down and get a closer look! I'm gonna need a grabber arm and helicopter blades. Grabber arm, helicopter blades, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Even up close, it sure does need some changes. Maybe I can help. Huh? I am the amazing Ernie. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. We're here to learn how an eraser works. Well, you came to the right eraser because I can make anything disappear. Even pencil markings. That's amazing. Come see, it's the best show in town. The tip of a pencil is made of graphite, and when you rub it on paper, it leaves a mark. Cool. Oh, huh. Let's take a closer look through a magnifying glass. Graphite gets left behind on the paper because it actually sticks to the paper. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. Huh? I got it. Phew. That was close. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, Ernie, can you erase this graphite mark? Oh, what a great idea. I will make that mark disappear by erasing it. When an eraser like me rubs against the paper, it creates friction and heat. Awesome! The heat makes the eraser stickier than the paper, so the graphite comes loose from the paper and sticks to the eraser instead. Friction also causes the eraser to disintegrate or fall apart. See the small bits coming off? <laughs> You've got a few on you. Oh, they're cute. Grab the eraser on the paper enough, and boy, oh boy, the graphite comes off. Ta-da! My disappearing act. Oh, that's amazing. Was it magic? No, it's science. Cool. And I got the answer to my question. How does an eraser work? Erasers work by using friction to make them stickier than paper. So the graphite on the paper clings to the eraser. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for the magic show, Ernie. Now it's time for us to disappear. Goodbye, Blippi. It was magic to meet you. Whoa, look at that, Tabs. It's an adorable kitty cat. <laughs> and look at those super long whiskers. Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs. Let's follow that kitty cat and find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Ready for adventure. Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa, what was that? Hey, it's me, Blippi. What's your name? Hit please the name and treats are my game. Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? 
<laughs> Holding out on what? Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me. land so perfectly. My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this. Aha. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippi. It's so dark. How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats. No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all. What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Whoa, there! Woo! Jackpot! <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh. Woohoo! I'm happier than a pig in mud! What a great adventure, Kipley! We found the treats! And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye-bye, Kipley! Thanks, Blippi. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all! What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car. It's going so fast. Huh? You're right. The Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm, I wonder, why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? Good idea, Debo. We can go to the racetrack and find out. I'm gonna need race car tires. Race car tires confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi! Are you here to try out the race track? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> oh, nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! <laughs> Whoa! I'm going really fast! Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can! Only 180 miles per hour now! Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars, plus my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamics. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain! Do your thing! You can do it, Debo! Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do! My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track! Thanks, Debo! 
now you're even faster. My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular cars. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi. Whoa, I'm blown away. But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine. Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ricardo. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Debo. Ciao. Whoa, look at all those elephants. Hmm, I wonder, what do elephants use their trunks for? You're right, Debo. We should go ask one and find out. I'm gonna need a water hose and duck feet. Water hose, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. <laughs> Yikes! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 me, Blippi, and that's Debo. Hey, we were wondering, what do elephants use their trunks for? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Tempo. <laughs> Whoa! We elephants use our trunks to help cool down by sucking up water and spraying it on our body. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> go down the slide again. Race you to the show. You're on. First. Whoa, how could you breathe underwater? That's another great thing about my trunk. I can breathe through it. Wow, just like my nose. <coughs> exactly. Hey, Speaking of noses, I smell bananas. Elephants have an excellent sense of smell. Come on, hop on my back. Oh, boy! <laughs> Thank you! Look, another slide! I wish we could go down that one, but the path is blocked. Check this out! Another great thing about trunks is that I can move just about anything. Last one down is a banana peel. Whoa! This is the best day ever! Whoa! Ready or not, here I come! Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> huh? Elephants also use their trunks to make sounds, like when we are excited. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Tembo, for helping me find the answer to my question. What do elephants use their trunks for? Elephants use their trunks to smell, breathe, make sounds, suck up water, and even grab things. <laughs> Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Blippi. See you next time you're in the savannah. Bye-bye. <laughs> we had such a blast! Whoa! Ah, uh, more junk! Oh, oh, look! A shark's tooth! Whoa, Debo, there sure are a lot! Hmm, I wonder. How many teeth does a shark have? Great idea, Debo. We can go into the ocean and find out. 
I'm gonna need duck feet, a grabber arm, and a propeller. Duck feet, grabber arm, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh! Hi there! I'm Dr. Paula the Pilot Fish. I'm a shark dentist. Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is Debo. Yes, yes, We're yes. here to learn how many teeth a shark has. Well, you swam it to the right corner of the ocean. I'm about to visit my friend and patient, Larry. Hello! I think I have a loose tooth. We'll find out! We pilot fish help keep the shark's mouth clean in exchange for protection from fish who might chase us. Wow! What a great friendship! Whoop. Whoa! <laughs> Someone call the Tooth Fairy! Let's take a look. Open wide, Larry! <laughs> ah, nothing to worry about. Come on in. The water's fine. As you can see, there's not just one row of teeth. There's row after row after row. <laughs> Go ahead and close now, buddy. Open just a little bit, Larry. Whoa! Another tooth on the loose! That's why Larry's got all these rows of teeth. They're waiting in line for when the front teeth fall out whoop, and need to be replaced. Happens all the time. That's kind of like us humans when we're kids. Let's count. One, two, three, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight. I sure wish sharks could floss. 213! Oh, that sure is a lot of teeth to take care of. You're right. There can be as many as 300 teeth in a shark's mouth at any given time. And get this, through his whole life, Larry here can grow and lose as many as 50,000 teeth. That's a huge number. All done, Larry. Woohoo! Wee! <laughs> Bless you! And I got the answer to my question. How many teeth does a shark have? Sharks have several rows of teeth, can have as many as 300 teeth at one time, and 50,000 over the course of their lives! Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for teaching us all about teeth, Dr. Paula. Bye, Blippi! Don't forget the boss! <laughs> One is red, Tabs. Oh, and that one is green. Hmm, I wonder, why are fireworks different colors? Great idea, Tabs. Let's go investigate. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and a grabber arm. Helicopter blades, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Oh, no, 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 no! Never get too close to fireworks! Be safe! Give them some space! Okay! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Tax. We were just wondering how fireworks get their colors. Hi, I'm Penny. I'll spin you a tale all about it. Whee! First, you have to know that fireworks are little rockets filled with black powder, which burns fast and sends the fireworks as high as a thousand feet into the air. Whoa, that's pretty high. Good idea, Tabs. Let's get a better look at the fireworks in the sky. Will you join me in the Blippi Mobile, Penny? Sure. Whoa! Great! Even in the air, 
Remember to stay safe and give them space. So colorful. Packed into the top of the firework are metal salts called stars. Just like different foods have different flavors when you eat them, different metal salts burn different colors when you ignite them. Watch out! Here comes another one, Tabs! Tabs! Are you okay? I told you, stay safe and give them space. We should get down to the ground or we'll all miss the big ending. You're right. Let's go. <gasps> Here it comes. The grand finale. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. What an amazing show. And now I have the answer to my question. Why are fireworks different colors? Fireworks are different colors because of the different metal salts they burn. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Penny. Bye, Flippy. <laughs> Always stay colorful. Oh, no. Devo, look how the water is carrying the Frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm. I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Evo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow! These colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? Are you okay, Debo? <laughs> Ivan, you have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait! Are we at the bottom now? No! You have reached my knees! Still a bit of a way to go! Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom! Woohoo! I knew you did! You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh, Timo! Oh no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. Ooh. Wow, 
Wow, that bee sure seems busy. And so does that one. And that one too. They're all so busy. <laughs> well, except that one. Those bees are busy making honey. Hmm, I wonder, how do bees make honey? Yes, let's go into the beehive. I'm gonna need wings and the excavator arm. Wings, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Now, we just need to make like a bee and be tinier. Shrinking down. You're right, Tabs. The bee's tongue is in the flower. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. I was wondering how you make honey. Hey, Blippi, I'm Bijon. Honey, huh? This is the place to be. <laughs> so I'm using my tongue to drink in this sweet nectar. It's how we bees start to make honey. OK, time to buzz. Into the beehive. Follow me. Spoiler, lots of bees working. It's like a honey factory in there. <laughs> Bijan, are they all chewing nectar? Sure are. <laughs> Gotta chew, that's what we do. Chewing makes it thicker. Can't have runny honey. Ha, <laughs> I rhymed again. <laughs> <laughs> and after you chew, then you have honey? No, no, there's more to show. We chew, then we swallow. <sighs> the nectar stays in our bellies, becomes honey, then we put it in the honeycomb. The honeycomb? Yep, we store the honey in the honeycomb. <gasps> Maybe I can taste some honey. Oh dear. This may look funny, but flapping our wings is how we make thicker honey. <laughs> it's a bee thing. Whoa. Yes, Tabs, I have the answer to my question. How do bees make honey? They get nectar from flowers, chew it, store it in their stomachs, then put the honey in a honeycomb and flap their wings over it. Upload answer, Tabs. Bye, Bijan. Thanks for being you. <laughs> <laughs> I love being at the beach. Whoa, a flying fish. Hmm, I wonder, what's underneath the ocean? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, it's a whole other world down here. Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly, it is a forest. Welcome to my neighborhood. My name's Jerry, Jerry the Jellyfish. Hey, it's me Blippi and this is Tabs. We're down here to see what's in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's a lot. The ocean's full of surprises. I'll show you. I'm going to meet my friends. Well, I'll give you a tour along the way. All right, thanks, Jerry. First stop, our kelp forest. This kelp can grow up to 150 feet. Wow, that's so tall. Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around. Kelp. This never happens! Great idea, Tabs. Let's use the turbo boosters. Oh, good. Glad you're okay. Let's move on. Whoa! That fish is blue and has a long nose. She's a blue marlin. She uses her nose to find and catch food. She's also really fast. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, no. This never happens. Yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here, wherever we are. Jerry! Jerry? 
Blippi? Is that you in there? Oh no. Hold on! <sighs> Whoa! I scared a gray whale? And she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens. Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up. I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look, it's your friends. Hiya, pals. You guys found me. And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus and a shark and a sea turtle and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. Oh, and there's an otter and a seahorse and a lobster and a stingray. Mmm, I love chocolate. Just a little bit now and then. Do you love it too, Debo? <laughs> oh, right. Dogs can't have chocolate. It hurts their tummies. Hmm, I wonder, how are chocolate bars made? Great idea! We can go into that chocolate factory and find out. I'm gonna need wings, hovercraft, and a prop engine. Wings, hovercraft, prop engine, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Let's go meet some chocolate bars in the chocolate factory. Hey there! <gasps> You're not Cocoa Beans! I need them so we can start making chocolate bars! <laughs> I'm not a bean, it's me, Blippi! And this is Debo! Hi, Blippi! Hi, Debo! <laughs> I'm Barb the Chocolate Bar! Welcome to my chocolate factory. Thanks, Barb. I'd love to see how chocolate bars are made. Can we come with you? Absolutely. It all begins with cocoa beans. <laughs> These beans come from plants. So how do beans become a chocolate bar? <laughs> they go on a little journey. First, a bean bath. Next, our beans get roasty and toasty. Then they get made into teeny weeny beans. <laughs> our bean powder then gets mixed with sugar and milk to make them sweet and smooth. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on, Debo, time to ski. <laughs> no, but it'll be fun. It's Chocolate Bar Debo. After the chocolate is cooled into bar shapes, we wrap them and they're ready! Ta-da! Whoa! You both look alike. And I have the answer to my question. How are chocolate bars made? Cocoa beans get washed, heated, crunched, mixed with milk and sugar, and then cooled down into a chocolate bar. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet tour, Barb. Anytime. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. <laughs>